Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use YouTube's new copyright tool for your channel. This is going to be a cool new tool that YouTube just implemented for all channels where you can check if other videos on YouTube have similar content to what you've previously uploaded. It'll tell you how much of their video matches. It'll give you some information about the video. Then you can take certain actions on this video, like taking the video down, contacting the channel and a couple of other things. It's a really, really cool feature. And I wanted to show you it a little bit in today's video. So the first thing you want to do is open up your YouTube web page. And once this opens up, we're going to be going to our creator studio. How we can do this is by clicking on our face on the top right. And then we're going to be clicking on the creator studio option right here. Once your creator studio opens up, you may be brought to the old version of the creator studio. In this case, we are going to need to go to the new version of the creator studio, but thankfully it's really easy. All we need to do is click the try studio beta option right here to get to the new version of the creator studio where we can actually check out this new copyright tool. From this point, what we're going to be doing is navigating to the left panel and we're going to be looking for the copyright option right here. So once we get to the copyright page, what we're going to have is the copyright dashboard where we get to see other videos that actually match our content. In this case, we can see first the video that's matching. In this case, it's how to play DS games on Android. We can see the total number of views this video has. We can see when it was uploaded. We can relate it to our channel and we can also see how much of their video matches our content. In this case, this video matches 100%, which means they completely re-uploaded my video. They didn't contact me or anything about this. They just took my video and re-uploaded to their channel as their own. And what we're going to be doing is taking action against this. If we come to the very right hand side of this, we can see a couple of different options that we can do. We can move it to archive. We can request video removal or we can contact the channel. So in most cases, what I would recommend doing is contacting the channel first if you're thinking about taking action. See if you can sort out behind the scenes without getting YouTube involved. But this is a case by case basis. In this case, this is someone who completely just took my video and put it as their own. And it seems like they did it with a couple of other channels. In this case, I'm just going to request the video gets removed. What we can do is click on this action. YouTube will then ask for this little pop up contact. What we can do is request the video removal and then we'll be brought to the request video removal form where you have to fill out all this bits of information about your channel a couple of different information about the video and then you can apply for the procedure process. Like I said, in this case, you want to try leave this as a last resort as if you try to flag someone's video and it's not exactly fair, YouTube can get involved and it might be strikes and some other things. So I'd be careful with this. Like I said, you have a couple of different actions here. You can add it to your archive and a couple of other things, but this is a really, really nice tool from YouTube and it's nice that they're trying to help creators and it's a really cool thing that they've added to the platform. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time as always, keep it saucy. Peace.